Hello and welcome to my first Split 3D tutorial. If you have any other previous programming experience in Java, C++, or the Blit 3D 2D programming language, you're probably going to want to skip ahead, because this is going to be probably really boring for you. But for all the beginners, you should probably watch. So, first, we're going to run Blitz 3D. I'm going to run my demo version. You can run your full version, but it doesn't really matter. Just wait till it loads, and create a new document, right this button right here, and I'm going to have some code in mind. So, what this graphics 3D command does, it sets the graphics to 3D, and this, these two numbers, 64480, sets screen resolution to 640 by 480 pixels, 16 sets the screen to a 16 RGB bit screen, which means it allows 16,000 colors on the screen at one time, the 2 is a windowed mode. There's actually a full screen mode, which is a 1, but we're going to use the 2 for now because I want it to be windowed. So, yeah, and then the camera equals create camera means that the camera, we're creating a variable camera with the value of create camera. Now, if you're, you've are you ever been programming in Blitz 3D 2D, you only had two coordinates, the X and Y coordinate. But the Blitz 3D programming language adds a Z-coordinate, which allows three-dimensional objects to appear on the screen. And everything you see on your three-dimensional game screen, you see through a camera. That's why we're actually creating this. Light equals create light. Just creates a light to light up the screen a little. And sphere equals create sphere. It's an automatic command to create a sphere with eight segments. I think that's pretty cool because... Just one quick command, and you already have a sphere on the screen. And while not key down one means that while the one key or exit key isn't pressed, do this this code that we put right here. But we have nothing in here for this tutorial, so yeah. And when it ends the game loop, actually I forgot a line of code here to render world. And what render world does, it just renders all of the objects on the screen and draws them. So, yeah. And this section is often referred to as the game loop. It starts with the while and ends with the when. And flip, oh wait, I, I actually forgot another piece of code here. So, sorry about that. Set, set buffer to back buffer. And what that does sets a buffer to the back buffer, which means that anything, any object that we create, it automatically draws to the back buffer, the back part of the screen. And the flip command flips the back buffer to the front buffer, so we can actually see it with our eyes. And end ends the program. Now, if you run this program right now, you're going to have a blank little window. And that's because we didn't actually draw anything. Well, we did create an object, an entity as they are referred to in the Blitz 3D programming language, but we didn't actually position it. Do that, just say position entity. Oh, uh, sorry. Posi oh, sorry. Sorry about that. Position entity. Sphere, comma, zero, comma, zero, comma, five. What that means, entity, I told you, is object in the Blitz 3D programming language. So it basically says, Position object sphere, which we created right here with the value of create sphere. So zero on the x, zero on the y, and zero and five on the z. What that means, all positioning in Blitz 3D goes by, by the x comma y comma z, and that just positions it at the x, y, and z coordinates. Give the location. So now, actually, if you're on the program. You'll see this plain-looking sphere here. And it's not that round, because I told you it has eight segments for a sphere. And so, yeah, it doesn't look too much three-dimensional right now. But we can, we're can we going to change that later on. Yeah. So to actually change, to actually make it look rounder, right here in the brackets of the create sphere, like, code, I guess, command, Let's write 32, which means it creates the sphere with 32 segments. 32 segments, which makes it look much rounder. Yeah, there you go. Now it looks much rounder. So, yeah. So basically, 
I just quickly ran you through the, this code here, and that's enough for my first tutorial. I probably didn't cover that much material, so yeah, but bear with me through all my tutorials, and thank you very much for watching.